Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot. All we have is two little stinking gallons. Yeah, we got one down. One down. Grab the other one. Yeah. Watch out for that asteroid. Watch out for that asteroid. Navigator. Oh, wait. I'm the navigator. Captain, you're doing swell. Nice. Good job, Captain. Hello, survivors, and welcome back to Indie Game Test Drive. Today is July 16th, 2015, and we are about to take Interstellaria out for a short spin, and we shall kick the proverbial tires or rocket thrusters or something and see what she's got under the old hood and hopefully by the end of this video you'll have a decent grasp of what the basic gameplay is all about and whether or not this is something that you wish to pursue further if you like what you see here there will of course be links down below in the description where you can uh, get to the steam page and or the home page for interstellaria and purchase it it is uh, available for $9.99 or will be available on Steam actually tomorrow. Tomorrow's a release date on Steam, but you can buy it at the website, uh, which is uh, again down below. There's a link down below. Um, it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. It's $9.99 and it is not an early access game. It's actually complete. I think tomorrow this will be version 1.0. That's my, my theory anyway, because it doesn't say it's uh, early access on the Steam page, which is just waiting to go live, as I had mentioned. So let's jump in and get rolling. This, by the way, is made by Cold Rice Games, and it is a 2D space sim slash RPG slash sandbox exploration game, uh, kind of in the vein of uh, Starflight, very heavily inspired by games like Starflight. Uh, it's got a bit of FTL in it as well. So you'll see what I mean here once we get rolling. So this is just kind of the intro here. Starting up a new game. I haven't really spent a lot of time in this. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, but it is certainly a lot of fun. I apologize for speeding through that intro, but we have a limited amount of time here in our test drives. I'd like to show you as much gameplay as possible in 20 minutes uh, or thereabouts. Um, if you want to see more of this later, then definitely let me know. It's really quite fun. Anyway, okay, here we go. So uh, we start out here in an apartment. We are uh, we're Gob Bison. Gob Bison. Okay, it's different every time. It's time for the humble creatures to begin its journey. This humble creature. Select a human watching TV with a left mouse click. So it's all mouse controlled. You can see here it shows you which mouse. We click on Gobby Boy here, and now he is selected, and we can just right click, and we can navigate around and pick up some cash. Somebody's dropping pennies around. Explore the house and go find the human's roommate. So we, we share this apartment with somebody. Oh, uh, here, this must be the roommate. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, I need you to move out. Oh, good. Uh, what? <laughs> I've been crunching the numbers really hard, and it turns out I can't afford to have a roommate that doesn't have a job. It's a cruel world out there, my friend. I'm sure you can handle it. Uh, let me ask you something else. So here's obviously our little dialogue where we can uh, give him different responses and say, w w w where, do where do I go? Go press that red button to unlock the door. Spread your wings and fly. Soar above the hardships of life. Just don't end up like those poor spacers. Lost somewhere out there. So good advice from our roommate here, but he just wants us out of here because we don't have a job. We sit around, play video games all day. What's like there's something wrong with that? Uh, anyway, so let's click on this. It's all handled by right click. I'm going to eat, eat his food. What's your name anyway? He doesn't have a name. Fine. I'm going to have a snack and then I'm out of here. I don't need you anyway. Gob's all on his own. So we can move the, uh, the map around here with my uh, WASD keys. And we're going to have a little little chat with this fellow. I'm in a lucrative business of making money. I'm going to continue on here. So there's lots of planets to uh, to explore. We have to get into a ship first. We can have our own ship. We can have a fleet of ships, in fact. And we have crew members. Then we, uh, we assign them to various roles in the ship. And uh, there's ship combat. There's space exploration. There's trading. It's really amazing. It's quite extensive. So much to do. I work maintaining the robots. I'd rather be drinking a cold one. Anything I can help with. Uh, would you mind dismantling that useless blue robot by the building? I'll lend you a drone copter in case it takes a bit more elbow grease. I just can't stand all these robots. Oh, okay. So now we have our first crewmate right here. It's C-1943. Oh, it's a good year, C-1943. And we can snatch them all up with a right... Uh, hold on the right... Uh, left mouse button, rather, and slide them all over. And we'll go pick up these coins and have a chat with the blue robot. Hey, that guy doesn't like you much. Zzz, error input. Uh, destruct. Defense mode engage. Oh, gosh. Here we go. <laughs> Here goes our first combat mission. And fire away. And I don't really have to do much. Just right click and they uh, they just shoot automatically. So we will eventually... Right now I'm punching him. You can see him giving... Oh, he dropped some bullets or something. Nice. 
Uh, later on, we're gonna get some nice weapons. You get some armor. You gonna make some upgrades. You level up. All that jazz. So it's got full RPG uh, elements and all that stuff. So much to do. I work. Wait, I did it. I've taken care of your robot. Great. Keep the drone copter. I just hate robots. A ship just landed nearby, and they might be interested in giving you some real work. I've unlocked the pass through. Thanks, pal. He's a shady looking character. But anyway, I'm taking this robot and leaving. Actually, uh, hey, Gob. Gob's hungry. Gob's always hungry. Let's go eat. Can the little C1943 eat? I don't think so. So you can just you can interact with some things here. I don't know if any of the stuff here in this office do anything, but when you're on your ship, you actually do have to um, interact with things. Come on, keep moving. Oh, we gotta go up this way. Right, right, right. Oh, hello. All right, so let's get on the ship. We do have to get on together. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta talk to this fella. Uh, Gabo. All right, fine. C1943. C oh, you can't talk to him. Right. I can. <laughs> Greetings, I'm Captain Edwards, hero and attractive member of the human species. I hear you're hiring. Yep. Why, yes, brave and loyal crewmen made mistakes and were lost. We're looking for braver and loyaler mistake makers. <laughs> uh, I'll be able to handle that. Sure. Right up my alley. Might. That's not early. That's not nearly brave enough, I suppose you'll have to do. There are no other applicants. I'll jump on board then. Excellent. Let's get on. Let's go. On my way, says the little fella. Now, all right. So now we got to click on him and plop him up here. And away we go. Place your crewman and drone in front of the ship while selected. Right-click inside the ship to board. So this is sort of the uh, beginner's tutorial. It's going to take about 15, 20 minutes, which is just about perfect for this, uh, for this test drive. All right, so now we're in orbit. Tells us orbit, we're stable right now. Pressure and O2 levels normalized. Crew armor uh, repaired. So everything's looking good right now. We've got all these crew members here. We don't know anyone yet. We'll get to know some of them maybe. Um, so have your crewmen rest by using a sleep tube. So we have a sleep tube here. I'm going to go send Gob to bed because all he did today was play video games, get kicked out of his apartment, got a little job. But uh, So now he's going to sleep. Catch up on some uh, some some Z's. I don't know if you gain health while you're asleep, but you can see here that he's got all these skills here. It shows his health, uh, so forth and so on. And you gain levels in these skills, and you become better at them, and, and adds um, extra bonuses when you're in combat, whatever. Have your crewmen use one of the critical ship stations. All right, Gob, are you up? Gob's up. Let's go use a critical station. How about um, is there a fridge? <laughs> Engineering. Let's go up. So this is a a uh, Elevator over here. Repairing your ship is important to survive. Notice how the ship, so this is kind of the FTL, real-time ship management stuff comes in. And uh, the ship travels by using a powerful star map. Open it and set course to Trenzalor. Okay, so there's a lot of information here and um, you get used to it once uh, once you kind of get your way, feel your way around a little bit. So here's the star map. Ship travels by using a powerful star map. Open it, we did. Okay, there's Trenzalor. So I have to click on my ship. And then click on uh, Transalor. Here we go. Heading to Transalor. Everybody hold on to your butts. You, go go do some tactical stuff or something. All right, so here's... Uh, oh, no, it's a, it's a fight. You can now select any crewman. Find and assign crewman to the navigation station. I think everybody's on... You grab that. Go, baby. Tacticals. Grab... Do something. Press the buttons. And I'll grab here. All right, what are you doing, Cap? Cap just watches. What turkey. All right, so now it looks like we're in battle. So you can move around the combat screen below by uh, right-clicking. We do have to um, select our ship here. This is us with the little star. And here's an enemy. Oh, he's friendly right now. Hi. Hello. <laughs> okay, we have to look at him. We click on him, and then we get some information about him. Find and assign a crewman to the tactical station, then swap guns below to on. So you have to you have to power up your, your guns. So we're going to power up our rockets, 15 millimeter machine gun, and our particle one. And now the game is on. FTL disabled. All right, so we're just going to move around, and the guns fire automatically. So my goal is to just try to avoid being shot by this hostile. Now he's hostile, and he's not even shooting at us, so this is going to be a snap. Now that is a nice ship you got there. Oh, who's this? Some new guy. He looks serious. He gads. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have fun tearing you out of it. Okay. So we have another ship has shown up, and we got to avoid getting shot. Fire away! I have to target him. You kind of want to avoid the uh, all the asteroids and other things floating around here in space. <laughs> we whaled him. Good job, guys. Now we can pick up the debris. You get like ship parts. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You're gonna run it over. Yep, so this is uh, repair plates. 
and then it goes into your inventory um, and then we can either sell it or use it for our own in our own ship repairs or whatever so most of that's all debris okay we can probably just sell all that so we're done here now we can leave our the, the combat mode I'm gonna power the stuff off and then uh, leave combat back to the ship and we have a bit of a fire here watch out yeah put can you put that out please we'll send uh we'll send gob over to do that i think that's gob right yep he's got to earn his keep here he's got it a little progress bar up there shows you how much uh how much fire he has to put out i'm promoting gob wait what did that say i'm pro <laughs> i'm now the captain gob is the captain because he put out a fire oh my gosh oh oh guys fight 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 turn on the power up and oh no it's okay that's scripted now we have to crash here so select a landing site and then hit land so yeah this is all part of the tutorial but yeah so you get blasted out of the sky and now we're going to head down planet side which is really cool so you have on some planets you have multiple landing sites we only have one here so okay scan looks good Atm we have atmosphere breathable breathable atmosphere and uh, let's go I was promoted to captain and then my ship got blown up. Just my luck. Just my luck. Yeah, yeah, it is sad, isn't it? Did I lose my little... No, there it is. One crewman has survived the crash. Search the nearby area for some way off this world. Understood. And we have C-1943. You made it, little buddy! Yay! Let's go together. Strength in numbers. We'll climb over here and now we have our little... Hoppy, jumpy, platformy, planet, um, exploration, section, portion, whatever. So we picked up a pad, a P-A-D-D, -D, a special pad used to manage planetary missions. This pad is still functional. Its previous owner crashed on Trenzalore about a year ago after being attacked by an unknown alien ship. The captain attempted to repair the crashed ves vessel, but died right before repairs were complete. That's excellent. Well, not good, no, not for him, of course, but for us, this is excellent. So now you can see that we're in survival mode. See, we're uh, Gob, Gob Bison. That's a hard name. Gain the trait Survivor. You can view traits when you return to space. So now we have an armor showing here and our health. And, uh, of course, we can we can do things to uh, to augment that. Your, here's the ship. Your crewman is injured. Before searching for repair parts, you should use a first aid kit in your inventory. Understood. Okay, so we got a little inventory action here. I'm going to press I. And here's Gob. And it looks like... Oh, you can take his clothes off. Well, he's hurt. Look at this. Nice. Anyway, so here's our health kit. I didn't know that. And you just drag and drop it on top of him. He's got 30 health right now. Injects himself with uh, the magical health kit. And now he's up to 40. Uh, pretty cool stuff. So this is all your inventory here. He's got a little bit of cash. Uh, armor and health shown here. All of his skills. He's got engineering too because he was monkeying around with the engineering unit on board the ship, right? That station. So I guess he went up a couple of levels. And it looks like you can make augmentations, like be like a cyborg or something. That's cool. All right, let's check out the ship. 14, 1943. Oh, it looks like hull leaks. Fires and broken stations should always be repaired as quickly as possible, especially... Right. Yeah, so let's fix this up. It's a mess. I'm glad to be back on the ship. This is a different ship. This is actually like a little Corvette. An old Empire Corvette. But we're going to get it fixed up in a jiff. Go fix up that leak. Can you... Oh, see... 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 1943 can't reach the leak. <laughs> okay. Or maybe he doesn't have the proper tools. Because... Yeah, see, Gob, Gob's working on it. I'm sorry, little fella. But we can send him out on a little exploration. See how happy he is? Okay. He's gonna go explore a little bit. So you can... You can move guys around independently, which is kind of cool. But as I said earlier, you know, strength in numbers and all. So, Gob's done. Let's get over here, Gobby. Now, there is a... Um, there's a few of these little tools up here that we can use. And I'll show you what, what they do here in a, in a minute. Let's grab everybody. Go say hi to this guy. There's a guy here. And it looks like a weapon. Nice. We equipped a needle pistol. That's cool. I'm going to chat with this fella in the cave. Thank my gods. Are you here to rescue me? So now we can have him join me. Right? I'll follow you. If we, if we can repair the ship and gather some scrap, it'll get us off the ship. I'll get us off this rock. Okay, so maybe he's like a really awesome pilot or something. Anyway, so now we have a new guy. His name is Finn Lakes. Oh, I get it. And we, now we're just going to explore, pick some items up, and we got all kinds of stuff here. 
All right, so here's this, uh, these little tools. You can have your crewmen begin searching for the scrap resource to fix the ship. The harvest option is to the right up here and only appear when a crewman is selected. Remember, a crewman can only carry one item at a time and must drop it into the mission cargo before collecting more. So they can only carry one item at a time, but if we click on this button right here, they handle the whole kit and caboodle. Now, what is that? Watch, you just click on that and they just go to work. They just know what to do. You could get yourself into some trouble, though, if there's an enemy about, so uh, this isn't always the best idea. Like this little critter up there, little blue doggy thing. And I don't think they collect the money, but other than that, they're, they're pretty good about things. Stop. Stop. Everybody stop. I think we need to get together. Hey, buddy! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold yourself! Steady! Alright, kill! Never mind. That needle gun's pretty awesome. Gob took care of him. Alright, let's see. What, what was he guarding here? Some scrap. Looks like we got some cash. We're picking something up. We're just digging through the, the junk here, and he got something. Um, so Finn Lake says no more resources, but he's, he's a fool because I just picked something up. And there's a little bit of cash here, so let's go hop around and get that. Get it all? Poop! Don't you dare talk to me that way. You're a captain. Come on, compose yourself like one, would you? That was immature. And it looks like we have a, a med kit here. Grab it. Snag it up! Oh, I can't. You can only carry one thing. All right, then you go back to the ship, stinker. I'm going to send everybody back to the ship. C 1943, back to the ship, please. Oh, he's fast. Look at the little guy. Nice. Okay, he's gonna take the scenic route. That's fine. And now I think we have everything. Let's jump on board. Everybody on board, and let's get to the stations. Ship is ready. Board your ship and take off. Gob Bison reloaded their weapon. Nice. All right, Finn. I guess he's a good navigator or something. I don't know. Let's check. Oh, Finn has a knife. That's cool. Um, no, he's not good at anything. He's a stinking liar. He's like, I can get you out of this place. Oh, it's a bandana, not a baseball cap. That's pretty sweet. Uh, all right, so he's got some scrap here, and I think I can just move that off of him. That's the one item that they can carry around. And since you have this, let's put that there, put it in the ship cargo. Everybody okay? I think we're all good. Only 10 health in my little drone thing here. All right, awesome. So you're going to navigate, and I will do the tactical. Okay, so take off. Take off, eh? There we go. You've made it back into space. Acclimate yourself to your new ship. All right. So I just walk around and look at some stuff. This is cool. It's a little small. But, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosy, and we're going we're gonna to expand it. Oh, here we go. Basic needs. Crewmen need food and sleep to survive. You can install those stations from the fleet management screen. You can drag and position them freely on your ship. Understood. Let's install some stuff. So this is cool. So we can expand our ship and make it more comfortable and more homey and more safe and secure and so forth and so on, right? So let's go ahead and install a little bed here way in the back. We have a refrigerator. Let's put the, let's put the fridge right next to the bed. We have projectile weapons, which will go here in the weapon slots. We only have three available right now, and only two guns. And then um, health. That just stays. We can't install that. That's fine. Let's go. Power allocation is critical to managing a fleet. You can allocate power to the green power icon, top right, to power up install stations. Yada, yada, yada. I'll show you that in a sec. Add or remove power at the top left. All right, so it's actually the top left. But we have, um, so we have engines, stations, and weapons. So we're going to crank up the engines. Let's put two in the guns because we need one for each. And we'll power up our stations, like the beds and the foods and all that jazz. So these are coming online. Here we go. Oh, who's this? Incoming message from Trade Co. Headquarters. Oh, hi, guys. What's up? Congratulations on your recent acquisition of a genuine old Empire vessel. This vessel is now registered to Trade Co. What? It's mine. Now you too can join the bravest of the brave amongst the stars. Please stop by for assistance. We've uploaded our coordinates to your ship. Okay. Now we got to go ahead over to Trade Co. and check in. You can set your course from the star map. Engines will need energy. And navigation will need to be in use, of course. So now, um, anyway, so we have these, these compartments, right? And they'll kind of do their own thing. If they're hungry, I think they eat automatically. And they sleep automatically unless you... Um, 
Oh, he's playing a video game. Uh, unless they're at a station, I think. I'm not entirely positive about that, but there we go. See? Uh, Finn Lakes just decided to go to bed. And I think our little fella here is going to go to the scanner. And I guess we're ready to roll. Let's go. Let's go see what Trade Co. has to say. This is our star map. And that's Trade Co. So we're going to go. All right. And we're on our way. This shows us the estimated time of arrival is 50 seconds. Manage crew from the crew menu. You can equip armor, guns, use health packs, or rename. Oh, you can rename. Oh, good, good, good. Because I'm not too sure. I like that gob bison. Ah, uh, we're going to keep it. He is captain after all. We don't want to cause any confusion. Whoa, what the heck? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the pause. All right, here we go. Real time action, baby. And we're paused. Click on an enemy below to fire on. We get a limited view without a scanner man. Hey, what did I just tell you? All right, so, yeah. So we need somebody on our scanners and our tactical, and we better get you out of bed, yo. Get over here, man. Come on. Get over there. Now, let's grab our ship. And we're going to pick a target. We're going to crank up the guns. And here we go. Fire away. Why are you shooting over there, yo? All right, here we go. Hostile, unscanned. I think we can... I don't know if we can scan them both at the same time. Oh, they're shooting at us, but we just can't see their bullets in flight. Because they're out of range. Out of our radar range. You, who's working on radars? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me deke them. Deke down and then over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot. All we have is two little stinking gatling. We got one down, one down. Grab the other one. Yeah. Watch out for that asteroid. Watch out for that asteroid. Navigator. Oh, wait, I'm the navigator. Captain, you're doing swell. Nice. Good job, Captain. Captain Gob. <laughs> Let's pick up the debris. Let's see what we got. Get anything good? Just got debris, debris, debris. Uh, okay, so it says debris if it's debris. If it's something else, it says what it is. Like one dollar. Wow. Okay. This is the worst pirates ever. So, Finn Lake's leveled up. I'm trying to read this stuff at the same time as fighting, but it's really hard. But anyway, we did well. All right, you can you can back off that now. Go take a nap. Go chill, whatever. Um, I guess we can leave now, right? Is there any more? Oh, repair plates. Go grab those plates. Pretty sweet, man. I'll tell you. I like this. I was never really a big fan of, uh, of space sims back in the day. Like, I did play some Starflight. Um, a little bit of Wing Commander, Privateer, that stuff as a, as a youngster. Yeah, so I did enjoy those games, but they weren't really my, my first priority or top choice of game genres. Oh, Finn Lakes is hurt. So we, I guess we can... I guess we can give him our med kit, but... Um, oh, here we go. But I kind of want to save it for later. All right, we have arrived. If you have any items in your cargo, transfer it to your away mission cargo so you can sell it at this planet. Okay, let's go to our inventory. Here's our away mission stuff. I definitely don't want to sell our med kits, but I can sell the scrap. And it looks like this is worth $79. And you can jettison stuff too if you want, but we're going to sell it to Trade Co. So now let's um I think we did all that right 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 I don't think we can use the scrap for anything honestly and here we go we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go land okay so now we have to choose a landing site it looks like we have only one here trade co HQ and away we go let's go have a pate let's go spend some cash New pirates in town. You can disembark crewmen from the ship by selecting them. Right, that's understood. And down we go. Bloop. Everybody's so happy. You can stop navigating now. And little fella, you can go find a little girly robot or something. All right, so now here we are. And we have a space bar. Check it out. Lots of people to chat with. Maybe get some new quests. By the spirits, that ship. Where did you find that ship? My ship? And there we go. We have a new quest. Current mission log item, and I'm not really sure where to get that. There are some stores to the far right. It's a good idea to see what's for sale before leaving. Okay, yep, so we can go shop. Um, as I had said earlier, if I, I think I did anyway, you can upgrade your ship. You can, uh, you can actually expand it. You can even buy new ships as well. You can have an entire fleet of ships, as far as I know. Um, all right, so it looks like we have stores. 
How about if we go inside one of these doors? Door number one. You're going to buy something or what? So here we go. We have $79. Uh, this is all ship stuff. And it doesn't look like I can afford anything here. Oh, no. Oh, gosh, no. I can almost buy a health pack. Almost. Door number two. This is where you buy actual ships. Oh, here we go. See? Human A2 fighter and old Empire Corvette is what we have. And this looks like the human stuff. The best trade co has to offer. Oh, this is crew. These are crew members. All right. And I can't afford a crew either. <laughs> I pretty much can't afford a dang thing. Let's go drink. <laughs> we can at least buy something to, to, to drown, drown our sorrows in that we can't afford anything for our ship. By the spirits. Yeah, okay. Anyway, what do I do now? I'll upload a few local stars to your star map, including your home, Sakari. So, that's just one of the little star ports that you can stop off at, make some purchases, get some quests. Apparently, this universe is just massive. It might even be endless, if I recall correctly. I may have even read that on the, uh, in the, uh, the ad copy of the game on Steam. Uh, but don't hold me to that. So let's check the map and see what we got here. Oh, lovely. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. How do you get that back? Cancel. So we're right here. We have, uh, there's Sakari, Zephyr, Yuki, Yukai, and Rebirth. What is that stuff? I should get out of it. I don't like it. Anyway, I think we're just going to end it right here, guys. Because um, I hate to spoil too much of this game for you, but... And I think we're at a good a good place to call it quits. Yeah, you know what? You're too loud. Um, this is probably a good place to call it. I think you guys have seen enough of the the gameplay here to figure out the uh, the basics of the game and whether or not something that you might be interested in. It looks like we're fighting. Are we fighting? Oh, we're fighting. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, power it up. Power it up. Power everything up. Oh, I got to get somebody on tactical. Go, 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 go. Now power them up. There we go. He's shooting at us. He's definitely shooting. Need you on the scanners, man. He is hostile. I don't know what I said to him. Maybe because I cut him off so abruptly. But he's going down. Look at that mess now. Woohoo! Oh boy. Can I hide behind asteroids? I don't know. Yes, you can, because look, I'm hitting the asteroids. I wish I had some more guns! Oh, he got me trapped. Almost. Oh, watch out, not the missile! Whoa! That was close. Oh, took a little fire there. Okay, no fires yet. This guy's tougher than the last few enemies we faced. He's got, like, missiles or something. Let's strafe him, strafe him, strafe him! Cut underneath. Yeah, those are going right for his thrusters, aren't they? Yeah! Ba boom, boom, boom! Whoa. Oh. Now we're behind him. That's where we want it to be. Yep, 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 yep. Now, I wonder if we can see his health somewhere because I'm not seeing it. Unscanned? Why is he unscanned? I'm not sure what that means. He's on my scanner. Everybody still at their stations, I think, right? Oh, boy. Yeah, we got him! Oh, we got hit. That last missile smashed us. Oh, <laughs> All right. Whew. So I don't have shields or anything yet, I don't think. Let's just go pick up all this junk. All right, guys. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Indie Game Test Drive and that I showed you enough of Interstellaria so that you can make a, uh, a wise decision as to whether you want to purchase it or avoid it. And again, if you do like what you see here, if you, if you enjoyed this video, then check it out. Um, on Steam, there's a link down below. It'll be available tomorrow for $9.99, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Or you can purchase it right now from the website, the Interstellaria website, and there's a link down below for that as well. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.